Well, you might soon be noticing more reruns on your TV. Thousands of writers right now are on strike. Film and television writers represented by the Writers Guild of America are fighting for fair pay. I spoke to two School of the Arts professors today about the impact of this strike. For the first time since 2007, thousands of writers represented by the Writers Guild of America are now on strike. Recently, there were a lot of layoffs in production companies and studios in anticipation of the strike, but also, uh, um, you know, basically to uh, slim down and uh, uh, expect that the, the, the freeze is going to basically put the whole, you know, activity to a halt, at least for three months. Kim Zubik and Agatha Dominic are both teachers at UNC's School of the Arts. For their students close to graduating, it could be a tough summer. Most companies are freezing hires and also, so for graduating students who are looking for permanent work, you know, that's a real issue. There was a strike in 2007 that spilled into 2008, lasting for 100 days. And as a <clears throat> writer, uh, I lost the... Uh, uh, a sizable six-figure uh, bunch of deals in 2008 when the strike uh, lasted for three months because uh, studios and production companies were actually claiming force measure and cleaning the house of the deals that suddenly they decided not to pay for. The Writers Guild wanting higher minimum pay, less skeletal staffing, and shorter exclusive contracts. Like everywhere else in the world, it's very disproportionate. You have the, you know, 1% who are making more money than they can ever spend. And then you have writers who toil day in and day out, and they're not allowed, they're not invited to set. You know, they, they create the template that we all build from and then they're discarded. Writers also concerned about ChatGBT, saying they want to be protected from the impact of artificial intelligence on them as workers. I am a writer as well, but I am primarily a producer, but I have to say I'm completely supportive of what they're doing, the writers. I think that um, the time has come to face the music and, uh, uh, and kind of solve it for another 15 years. Possibly. Writers planned picket lines across L.A. and New York City today. In L.A., there were also demonstrations held outside several offices. That includes that of Netflix, Universal, Paramount and Sony.